hi guys and welcome to this channel in this video i am going to guide you how to install mengw the c and c++ compiler add the compiler to the system environment variables set up visual studio code for c and c++ so that you can run c and c++ programs and code in vs code open your browser I am using Chrome. You can use any browser that you like. And type in the search for MinGW. And click on this link, sourceforge.net. Click on download. Your download will start shortly. The download is completed. Now go to your download folder. Here is the installer. Double click on it. Click on install. This is the installation directory. You can change it if you want. For the rest, leave it as it is and click on continue. now click on continue here you can select it component menji w32 gcc and g++ mark for installation and menji w32 base mark for installation click on installation on the tab apply changes then click on apply All changes were applied successfully. You may now close this dialog. Close. Close this window as well. Now let us add the compiler to the system environment variables. Go to the location where you installed the compiler, the main GW. For me, it is in the C drive and main G in bin copy this path go to the search and then type here env edit the system environment variables click on it under the advanced click on environment variables Click on path, then click on edit. Now click on new and then control V to paste or right click and paste. Click on OK, click on OK and click on OK. Let us verify the installation. Open the terminal or command line. Type here gcc hyphen hyphen version. So we have successfully installed the gcc 6.3.0. Now open Visual Studio. Create here a C file. For example, app.c. Go to the extension. Type here run app. So we need to install this extension. Code runner. Click on it. 
here you can see run c c plus plus java javascript php python payroll ruby and many more click on install beautiful it is installed successfully close it and go back let us write our first hello world c program first include stdio.h that is the system input and output and main that is the main function print f hello world and then return zero now you can use the play icon to run your code click on run and here you see hello world you can make this look better by adding new line and also new line save it and run again now this one looks much better now you can use visual studio code to run or execute any c or c plus plus program or code that's it guys i hope it was helpful thanks for watching liking sharing commenting and being around have great times and hopefully see you in the next video